too pregnant to sail. Want to go on a Disney cruise? Better check that you're not too pregnant. YouTuber Emily Jackson says she had traveled with her family of 10 from St. Louis to Miami to join the cruise earlier this week. The family of 10 reportedly being parents, a husband, two kids, and other relatives. But after they got there, Jackson says Disney staff deemed her 25-week pregnancy to be too far along to be cruiseworthy. Naturally, Jackson was mad. Disney policy is that nobody over 24 weeks pregnant can join the cruise. The vlogger recorded some of her exchange with the very Disney-like Disney staff and posted it to YouTube. But mess with the mouse and the mouse will send you packing, along with a heat-packing cop garbed in tactical gear. Jackson said she and her kids had to wait for two hours under the Miami sun while their luggage was unloaded. They offered her a refund, but she told St. Louis news outlet KMOV that won't cover how much they spent on the rest of their ruined vacation. No word on how much that is, but we bet it wasn't cheap. More on the House of Mouse. Lights out in the House of Mouse. Planning to go to Disneyland, California soon? Well, you may want to take a flashlight. On Wednesday, December 27th, one of its busiest days of the year, the park was hit by a massive power outage. Some reportedly got stuck on the park's monorail for a while, because when you're at Disneyland, that's where you really want to be. Reportedly, others were stuck on the It's a Small World ride for at least 30 minutes. No big deal, right? Wrong. That ride is surrounded by animatronic puppets. With power, that's fine. With no power, that's Chucky. The power did eventually come back on, and people were able to continue about their day waiting in long queues for rides and attempts for refunds. Now, how's that for the happiest place on Earth? Disneyland shuts down two cooling towers after Legionnaire's outbreak. If you're thinking about a trip to Disneyland, now is the perfect time. Disneyland has shut down two of its 18 cooling towers after an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease. Twelve cases of the bacteria-caused illness were discovered about three weeks ago among people who went to Anaheim or Disneyland. Legionnaire's disease is a severe lung infection caused by Legionella bacteria through exposure to contaminated water or mist. The source of the mist can be air conditioning units, showers, or hot tubs. It is not contagious between humans. It is treated with antibiotics. Disney is now waiting on health officials to see when the two towers can be put back online. This room can charge your phone the moment you walk in. Disney Research has successfully turned a room into a wireless charging station. Quasi-static cavity resonance is a method that induces electrical currents in an enclosed metallic structure. Power generated and amplified outside the room is picked up by a coil receiver inside the room, then transmitted to discrete capacitors inside a copper pole. The induced currents flow through the pole, ceiling, walls, and floor, generating an electromagnetic field. Ten devices were powered by the room simultaneously in this experiment. Researchers conducted the study according to federal safety guidelines and believe this method should cause no harm to the human brain or body.